Hi friends, I'm Jitendra Bapna. Today we are going to see a minute testing with MuleSwap part 4. In this video, or we will going to see a verify call component. The verify call component is used for the verification whether the call to the other flow or to the other message processor has been done or not. Or basically it is used to validate the call to the message processor or the other flow. So we will going to cover some scenarios so you can understand like how can you use a verify call in your a minute test cases. So it is a part of a mocking component like you can suppose you have one flow and you are you are calling the other flow and okay and you just uh, want to you know like validate like uh, if we are calling the uh, uh, other flow or not so you can use the verify call component let me uh, go with a practical scenario so i will create one file new new project i will say verify mock app yeah. i will say finish let me create a one small application i will drag and drop http listener I will quickly create it. I will click on add button. I will keep all setting as a default except port. I will keep all setting as a default setting except port number. I will use 807. Here I can see mock. I will not uh, in the path I give a mock. Okay. Now what I will do? Uh, let me look for set payload. I will drag and drop set payload in other flow and I will say test one. Fine. And I will use flow reference. Okay, in flow reference, I will call verify mock f flow one. This one. Okay. Fine. So now I will right click here and I will create a minute test cases for that. Create new. You can see under source you need. So source test a minute fine this is yes. so now i have to uh, mock the call to the other flow so i can use the verify call now it required verify call what we have to verify we have to verify the flow so i will say mule flow which flow we have to uh, verify so for that we have to add attribute what uh, we have to uh, attribute name and value so this will be the name this will do the value let me copy the value name i can ty type it add attribute this uh, i have to provide name tab value what is this name this name is this okay and value is this fine so let me run the a minute test uh, i want to show some more thing so you can decide like how many number time number of times you have to call the flow like in my case i have to call one time you can define at least uh, max and mean value at least and at most okay uh, let me run a minute shoot i will say save it okay Uh, here you, you can see uh, that the uh, minute test case has been successfully executed done so you can see there is a no error it's in green no error no failures nothing and everything has been covered okay now i will we will go with some negative case also so let me drag and drop flow reference not sorry let me drag and drop set payload it could be in some other flow okay now we have a Verify mock F flow one, modify two also. Here I will set, set some payload. Okay, I will save it. I will go to run test case. In this case, what I will do? I will change bit value. Okay, I will do two. So what? I will give the value uh, for the flow which have created just now. Okay, now run me. It should fail now. See, 
uh, it. Okay, it's done. Test case has been executed. You can see one failure. Okay, what it was saying, it's expecting the call to the flow one for a one time. Okay, what why it failed? Because uh, we are saying our fl main flow should call. Uh, may be calling flow 2 but this is not a real case our flow main flow is calling the flow 1 right our uh, main flow is calling this flow but we have changed the value to this flow in verify call now what we can do if we want to make that case successful we will go here we will change the reference i will take f flow 2 i will save it i will go there now i will run m in it i will say okay yes time it should be successful see now it's in getting and the test case has been executed successfully no error nothing everything is fine no error okay now you know like what is verify code now how can you use the verify call so basically it is used to mock the call to the other processor or the other flow or other subflow okay. yeah hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching video